Good day. Today, I would like to introduce you to the mobile application Streamflix. Many of you likely watch movies online, and Netflix is one of the popular services in this area. We have endeavored to create a similar service for mobile applications. Streamflix is a video portal for watching movies and TV shows, where users can register and create accounts for their family members or themselves to enjoy their favorite content in their free time. On the screen, you can see the software used to develop this application called Flutterflow. And on the right side, in the iPhone 15 Pro Max simulator, you can see the app itself. To effectively demonstrate the app and its capabilities, we need to log in first. Let's log into the application and continue exploring the system. By clicking the Sign In button, we can log in if we have a username and password. Generally, there are two options for logging into the application. You can either register and log in as a registered user or use the quick login option by clicking the Login Anonymous button. Please note that the anonymous login button is only available in the demo version to provide customers with easy access to the application, as many do not like the registration process. However, this button is not included in the final package and purchasing the application will not allow anonymous access. Users must register. We have placed the following text under the button. If you log in anonymously, some features may not work correctly, but you can still explore the app. For a better testing experience, we recommend signing up and then logging in. It's up to you to decide whether to log in anonymously or register. In any case, you can test the application. Now I have logged in with my username and password. As you can see, I have several accounts for my family members, each with their own profiles and movie lists. Let's log in to my account. Here, we are on a page where we can edit our profile, pay for subscription plans, view our list of selected movies, and more. The most important button is located in the footer named Home. Clicking this button takes us to the page where the movies are displayed. At the top of the page, there are options to choose genres and select movies or TV shows. We can browse by genres to find the content we want to watch. If we select a movie and want to watch it, we can click on the movie's image, which takes us to a page with detailed information about the movie. By clicking the yellow button, we can start watching the movie in either vertical or horizontal screen orientation. You can also find the movie you are interested in on the search page. Enter the name of the movie and it will appear. You can also mark your favorite movies, adding them to your list of favorite movies or remove them from the list if you change your mind.
Now, I would like to explain how the system works. Every new user has a free plan. What does the free plan include? It allows you to watch only three movies per month. If you want more, you need to subscribe to a monthly or yearly plan. If your subscription expires, you can renew it by clicking on the Watching Plan and selecting the plan you need. Payment can be made through the app using the integrated Stripe system for credit card payments. While testing, you can also see how it works by using a test card number, which is eight repetitions of the number 42. In the expiration date field, enter any future date, such as November 2028, and any three-digit number in the last field. Most importantly, if you want the payment to be successful, make sure to enter the correct region or country where you are currently located. Otherwise, the payment will not go through. And so we have reached the end of this demonstration. This is what I was able to show you about how our project's mobile application works. You can log into the system yourself, test it, and see how everything works. We wish you success, and thank you for watching.